Hello, um, welcome to the Witness Without Identity. Uh, we have an election coming up in November, and um, there was a beautiful debate on YouTube between Destiny and Kim Iverson. And I'm, I'm, I find this debate pretty interesting. The debate is about should, should you vote or not vote for Joe Biden? Now, the, Joe Biden has picked Kamala Harris, and we know who she, Kamala Harris is, and Joe Biden. By Joe Biden picking Kamala Harris, Joe Biden tell, telling all of us that he's a centrist and he's not going too far left. And I think that's fine too. Um, but here we are, guys. We are in the United States and, and we have this election coming up. And there are many people on the left that are saying that no, they don't, they don't want to vote for Joe Biden because this is the, this is the same thing that's been going on forever same war all over the place and me i think i agree with some some of the neoliberal are saying i want to give you my point of view you're going to hear kim iverson debate uh kim iverson debate uh, destiny uh, on, and then i want you guys to let me know what you think but i'm going to give you my feedback from the video from the clip it's pretty interesting debate three reasons really three big reasons why I refuse to vote for Biden. Um, the first reason is that I think that uh, Biden in the White House would be a restoration of neoliberal policies. And those neoliberal policies are what gave us Trump to begin with, that Trump is just a symptom, not the disease, and that we need to focus on fixing the disease before we make it worse. And an ushering in of those neoliberal policies would make it worse. Um, secondly, one reason why I won't vote for Joe Biden is because I believe that when Democrats get in office, they become complacent and lazy. And it would be the death of the progressive movement. Somebody like myself, who's very uh, fiercely progressive, really wanting to see progressive change in this country. I think when Democrats get into office, what happens is they say, when neoliberal Democrats get into office, they say, oh, see, this is what works. This is what wins. This is what the people want. They don't want your progressive policies. They don't want your Medicare for all. What they want is they want somebody in the middle. Joe Biden or anybody else who's a neoliberal Democrat is in the middle. This is what people want. And they sort of breathe a sigh of uh, you know, fresh air and they just say, OK, uh, this is what is this. This is what works. So we're going to stick with it. And effectively, the progressive movement loses steam. And the last reason why I won't vote for Joe Biden, and I think it's actually my biggest reason right now, is I don't think he's mentally competent and which is unfortunate. It's not his fault. He's an older man. When people get older, we all experience various different symptoms of aging. His lack of mental capacity to me is a serious one. And why it's so serious to me is I don't think he's really going to be the one in control. I don't think I'm really voting for Joe Biden. I think I'm voting for some puppet master who's behind the scenes and who's actually the one making all of the decisions. And that person should run for office if that person wants to be president of the United States. To me, it's fundamentally anti-democratic to vote somebody in who's ultimately going to be a puppet for whoever is the puppet master. And I think that was sort of the big argument against Trump for a long time was, oh, he's Vladimir Putin's puppet. And we're really Vladimir Putin is in control of the country. I have that same sort of fear with Joe Biden, except I don't know who's behind the curtain. I don't know who the you know, who the Wizard of Oz is. And that to me is uh, fundamentally anti-democratic, which is why I cannot vote for Joe Biden. Thank you very much. Appreciate that from Kim. And want to let you know, folks, I, in case you had not seen, I had posted the link for Kim's live stream as they're doing a simul stream over at their channel. I, some people were saying that they couldn't see it, but I'm 100% sure I can see it. And so I put that link in the live chat. I'll put it back in there. We'll kick it over to Destiny. Thrilled to have you, Destiny. Your good buddy, Bosch, is here watching. If you hadn't noticed or excited, uh, the floor is all yours, Steven. I have like a big thing written out for an opening statement, but it mainly has to do with Biden over Trump. So I guess I'll just focus my response on, on, on I guess, the statement that you brought up and then we can kind of go into there. Um, for the three big reasons not to vote for Biden, um, I hear like the neoliberal boogeyman is kind of wheeled out a lot in terms of things we want to get rid of. I'm, I'm super curious to get into what neoliberal policies we want to get rid of. Are we talking about getting rid of like free trade? Um, are we talking about getting rid of like 
capitalism or like i'm really curious i, I hear people new like wheel out like are, are we getting rid of like multilateral trade agreements are we get like when we say neoliberal policies i really want to know what we're going to get rid of here or what we need to get rid of and i'm also super curious how whatever fear we have of neoliberalism exists i'm really curious how biden would be worse on that front than trump would be um, who seems to be, I guess, if you are super neoliberal in some ways, you know, gives you a lot of what you want, you know, big corporate tax cuts, um, you know, renegotiated multilateral trade deals between um, Canada and Mexico. So, yeah, that I'll be really interested to hear that. Um, the second part, when Democrats get in office, they become complacent and lazy. I don't think this is true. I think this just comes from I, I hear this a lot. I think it just comes from like a fundamental misunderstanding of how the electoral process works. Um, you know, a, a lot of Progressive people look at Obama's administration like, why didn't Obama do this? Why didn't Obama do this? Um, the president can only do so much, um, especially if he doesn't have a Congress for six years that supports his agenda. There's not really anything the president can do, save for executive order, which when he could, he did. You know, we got DACA via executive order. We got things like the Iranian nuclear deal that was negotiated under Obama's administration. But when you look at things like we're a single payer health care, I mean, the ACA was the most we could get under Congress at the time. I, like that's it. There's I don't know what else Obama could have done there. You, you know, aside from murdering members of Congress and, and, and like getting special elections held or something. Um, that's just the, how the political process goes. Um, the third point is a, a little disappointing. Um, we can we can't really talk much about Biden's mental competency. I mean, we can go by meme clips that we see online to assume he has Alzheimer's or is, has mental deficits or problems. Um, I mean, I can bring up the fact that he has a stutter. I don't know how much people will care about that. Um, I could bring up Trump's own apparent mental decline. I don't know how much people care about that, but that's kind of like a harder thing to talk about. We talk about how it's fundamentally anti-democratic to vote in someone um, like Biden. I mean, he's won the democratic processes, so it seems to be the most democratic thing and that most people appear to support him. Uh, even if we were voting on cabinets alone, I think a Biden cabinet and a Biden vice president is probably going to be vastly superior to a Trump cabinet, whatever that is at any point in time, because it's constantly changing or a Trump um, vice president, which would be Mike Pence. So, yeah. Um, I guess those are my, my three kind of responses to those points, and then we can kind of get into it, I guess. Uh, when you look at the video of uh, uh, Destiny uh, explaining to uh, Kim Iverson, uh, it, it's like, uh, it's pretty interesting because Kim is saying that she will not vote for Joe Biden, she will vote for a third party. And uh, Destiny is saying that, you know, and it, 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 uh, uh, no, it, it, Kim Iverson said that uh, the, the three reason is because of the neoliberal and, and Joe Biden mental capacity and all that stuff. But when you look at Trump, Trump has a mental capacity too. And uh, neoliberal, um, maybe there's some truth to that, that tr Trump uh, probably will not want to go to war with uh, other country. <sighs> I actually a little bit agree with Kim Iverson on this one. Trump is not as hawkish as we thought, but he is very unstable. So that, that makes it very difficult to, to gauge, and we have to be careful. It's real to say that, uh, and I think I'm right about this. Um, like, uh, so basically, yes, okay, he's not hawkish, but he made the decision to kill Salomani in Iran, and that, that's kind of like crazy when he did that. That's like a very hawkish move. So Trump is not stable, so me and the way I feel, you cannot trust Trump. I'm voting for Biden. But I still respect people like Kim, and I think we, don't, we need to understand those people too, what they are saying. The Democratic has been playing us, right, for a long time. And, uh, and I think Karl Kolensky is, is, is like that too. And I think it's fine for those people, but what I want to say about those people, I think it's better if they just vote for Trump. And then, because I think the Democrats do not understand the message, that people are not happy with them. They need to do a better job. And when you, when you vote for third party, you spoiled the election, but you also, on top of it, you're not putting a strong message for the Republican, for, for the Democrat. It's like you're neutral. You still did not vote for Trump. But when you vote for Trump, you actually like really make the message clear. Me, I don't believe in that. I believe that you should vote for Biden. That's an easy choice for me. That's where I stand. Guys, let me know what you take. I'm going to talk about this more. Um, there's many different clips that are interesting in this uh, in this uh, video. Thank you.